Hello, this is Steven from OnlineAlogs.com and in this tutorial we'll show you how easily you can root your Samsung Galaxy S5 with Android 5.0 Lollipop using the TWARP recovery. This should work on a wider range of devices besides the S5. I will mention some of the most well-known models in the written tutorial. Basically, this process Besides rooting your device, we'll install a custom recovery that uh, will allow you to install custom ROMs. I'll be using the TWARP recovery or the TeamWin recovery because it supports a wider range of devices and seems it has faster updates, but the exactly same process can be done using Clockwork mode recovery. As you've seen, I already downloaded the latest version of Odin. And now I'm going to download the proper version of TWARP recovery for my device. It's a Galaxy S5 European version, so uh, I will use the Samsung Galaxy S5 Qualcomm file. Same recovery should work for all Qualcomm chipset S5, like the T-Mobile S5 or the Canadian versions. Since uh, I will be flashing the recovery using Odin, I will download the file with uh, tar extension. Just need to open Odin and select the file you downloaded, the recovery one, in the AP field. Before uh, putting the phone in download mode, I have to transfer a file to the phone. So uh, I'll connect the phone to the PC in normal mode. I'm talking about the SuperSue update file that needs to be flashed from TWARP recovery. The link for this SuperSue update will also be in the written tutorial from our blog. After transferring SuperSU to the phone, it's time to put the device in download mode. To do this, you have to switch off the phone. After that, hold in the same time power, home and volume down. You should get to a warning screen. Then you have to press volume up and select continue. And in the end, you should get a screen showing downloading like you see on my phone here. After the phone is detected in Odin and the small box under COM turns to light blue, you can press the start button. If the phone is not detected, probably you don't have the Samsung drivers installed. Uh, I have not shown how to install here because uh, I presumed most of you have them installed already, but I put a link of the drivers in the written tutorial. After you see pass in Odin and the phone wants to switch on, I recommend to remove the battery, put it back and put directly in recovery mode. Do not let it to turn on. You can put in recovery mode by holding home, power and volume up in the same time and you should see the TeamWin logo in a few seconds. Once you get to the TWARP menu, press the top install button and you will be taken to the phone files from where you have to install the SuperSue update, the one you just transferred. Since I transferred it to the SD card, I have to select external card here and the SuperSue zip shows here. Just tap on it and after that swipe to confirm the flash. After you get the message successful, press the reboot system button and the phone will restart in normal mode. Basically when the phone is on will be rooted, so technically the tutorial is over, but we'll do a verification to confirm that the root has worked properly. You can do this also by using a root checker application from Play Store. I'll install the first option from Play Store, but I think uh, any root checker should work. Basically, this app sends a request to access the root, and if it's granted access, will show that your phone is rooted. As you can see, it's asking to grant root access, and it shows that uh, the phone is rooted. Hope this tutorial will be useful to you. If you tested uh, on other phone models, please write a comment if it works, and if it's not working, we'll do our best to help you. If you need uh, to unlock your Android device, you can get the best prices and only professional services from onlineunlocks.com. Thank you.